guys welcome to a new vlog i am sure you're gonna hear me say that again very soon in the next clip because i started filming this vlog you are now watching at the very very beginning of october now october was not a good month for me mental health wise and health wise i it was just not a vibe and i wasn't really reading so this vlog is like a month long and it's very chaotic and all over the place but I didn't want to just waste all the footage. I thought I'd still upload it anyway. It's a very long vlog. It is over an hour because I have shoved all the footage into one vlog. But hopefully you guys do still enjoy it. So I just wanted to come on and explain that it is chaotic. It is kind of spanned over a month. But hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And I have also squished in the last days of Vampathon at the very end of this vlog. So I was planning to film like all of Vampathon in one big vlog besides the first day. But then I got COVID. I got really, really sick and I couldn't vlog. I was actually in bed with a fever. Um, so the last few days of Vampathon were not great. I didn't really read a lot and I didn't vlog. So there isn't a lot of footage, but I have added that into the end of this vlog. So if you did want to watch that, you can go and check that out. I met Cassandra Clare. I went to Comic Con and yeah, all of that is in there. So if you did want to see all that, you can stay around to the end of this vlog. But I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. Again, I'm really sorry that Vampathon vlogs didn't really happen this year. I'm sorry that this vlog's a mess and I have haven't really been doing any weekly vlogs but again i i'm just gonna put this one up anyway so you guys can watch it and hopefully enjoy it i do a lot of spooky autumnal things in this vlog we go to howarth i do vampathon and some other things so yeah i i do still like the vlog but it's just not it's chaotic um but yeah i'm gonna go now so enjoy the rest of the vlog sorry it's chaotic i love you all so much and i will see you soon <laughs> Hey hi guys, my name is Judy and welcome back to a new reading vlog or welcome to I should say. So yeah, I figured I would just start this weekly reading vlog off now because if I don't do it now, I know I won't. Um, so today is Monday the 2nd of October and first of all, happy October, happy official month of spooky season. I love October, it's one of my favourite months of the year and I'm hoping this month will be a good month for reading because as you guys will have heard from my previous vlogs, if you've watched them, I am in one of the worst reading slumps. And I just feel like October is going to get me out of it because I want to read all the spooky books. I actually want to read. I want to get out my slump. And we also have Vampathon at the end of the month where I will be trying to read as many books as I can for five days. So yeah, anyway, let's get into this week's reading plans. I do have a lot of things to do this week, so I'm super busy, but I'm hoping I can squeeze in reading. Um, because every single night when I've been like, yes, I'm going to sit down and read tonight, I've ended up having to do something else. But fingers crossed I'll find the time. Um, so these are my reading plans for the week um, at the moment. So I'm currently listening to the audiobook for Legends and Lattes. Um, my bookmarks are page 78, but I know I'm definitely further through than that. I think I'm roughly about halfway. I think I'm roughly like this far in. So yeah, probably about halfway, maybe a little bit more than that. I think I have like under two hours left of the audiobook. So I'm hoping to finish this this week. This is Legends and Lattes, if I didn't already say that. Um, and this book really is like a warm hug and it definitely does make you crave a coffee. Okay, so my memory card randomly decided it did not want to continue recording. Um, so hopefully now it will work. Um, I can't remember what I was saying, but basically I'm really enjoying this book. It always makes me crave coffee and I'm hoping to finish it this week. And then the next thing I want to finish is Chainsaw Man Volume 12. I picked this up in my last reading vlog. Um, this, I don't think it's officially out just yet in the UK, but they had it in the store that I went to. And I've been really looking forward to reading this. I read um, the first 11 volumes of Chainsaw Man earlier this year. And this is like the next arc in the story. So yeah, I did briefly start it while I was in the queue. So I'm only a tiny bit through. But I really want to finish it off this week. And then next we have A Belladonna by Adeline Grace. Um, this is a book that I started last year and never finished. But I have something exciting happening next week. So I really need to finish reading this before then. So yeah, I'm almost halfway through. So I'm hoping to finish this off. And then next is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick. So this is my Patreon buddy read for... September which is obviously last month um I'd planned to read this all weekend and then towards the end of the last week I got some really bad news um about a relative so I just wasn't really in the headspace to read um and I instead decided to distract myself and go and do some retail therapy um and just completely forget about it um and yeah so I didn't really want to read and I didn't and yeah unfortunately the vlog is going to be late because I haven't finished it yet but you know it is what it is like 
I think sometimes when it comes to like your mental health and personal issues, you have to prioritise those. Vlog will be happening this week and I will be reading this book this week as well. If I ever like upload a video like when it's like a buddy read, I always try to upload an extra video as like an apology as well. Um, so I'm going to do that as well for Patreon. But anyway, yeah, I do need to finish this. So those are like my reading plans. And then if I finish my audiobook for Legends and Lattes, I think I'm going to pick up the audiobook for Caraval by Stephanie Garber and listen to that as well. So those are my reading plans for the week. I feel like this one is like still really spooky. I guess as is this one because it's the personification of death. So how is it not? So yeah, I feel like it's a good way to start off October. Hopefully I can finish all of these this week. But I have a book haul I need to film that's been like overdue for months now i need to try and film that at some point i also need to film um, a sponsorship video which is due asap as well and my october tbr and i also need to do some other things as well so there's just a lot that i need to get done this week and obviously i work every single day i do work from home which is amazing but i don't really have like enough daylight hours to film so it's really annoying because I love filming in daylight, but I think I'm just going to have to like admit defeat because obviously it's going to start getting dark at like 4pm soon. So I'm just going to have to get used to filming in like this kind of lighting, which I don't like, but it is what it is. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, anyway, those are all like my reading updates and plans for the week ahead. Um, hopefully I get out my slump. I don't know how eventful this vlog will be. Um, I'm probably going to vlog from today till sunday so yeah hopefully i can have some like exciting reading plans this weekend and i am going to film a huge unboxing video as well this week which i'm so excited about because i have like two illumicrate three fairy loot two or three waterstones parcels two like on the way another fairy loot one on the way and another illumicrate one on the way and then i'm also waiting for this really exciting delivery as well um, so once all my other deliveries have come, I'm gonna like film another unboxing video. I'm so freaking excited. So yeah, anyway, that's irrelevant. I'm gonna go now and try and force myself to film a video because I don't really want to. I only go to sleep because the last two nights I have not slept well. Um, but I also just know like if I get this out the way, it will be a massive help to my future self. So I might try and film my book haul now or I don't know. This is the... the this is the question. I think maybe I will try and film the book haul now and then for my sponsorship on tomorrow morning. If I get up at like 5am, 5.30am and get ready and then by the time I'm ready and I've sorted the cats and done all my other stuff I need to do for the day, it should be daylight and I should be able to film it hopefully. So maybe we'll do that in the morning. Um, but yes, anyways, for now I'm going to go, I'm going to sort myself out and then I think I am going to start filming my book haul which... I like filming book hauls but I also hate it because when I bought these books was months ago and I can't remember what half of them are even about anymore so that is going to be fun. But yeah anyway I'm going to go so I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow or later this evening um, but yeah bye for now. <laughs> hotel room because i'm here with work and it's just so fun like i can't believe this is my life yeah um i just got ready we're about to head out um to do a fairy event which is very exciting and yes i'm gonna be hanging out with some authors i'm gonna be hanging out with stephanie garvin adeline grace which is amazing and yeah if you've followed me on instagram then you may have seen my stories and stuff so <laughs> very surreal last night um but yeah feeling very very grateful and lucky i don't really have any reading updates to be honest but i did just want to say that i am in london and having a really good time and i really love my job um but i'm gonna go now because i need to head out but i will probably catch up with you guys tonight or when i get home tomorrow and like i'll show any pictures and stuff or like footage i get but it is a work thing so i don't know we'll see um but bye for now <laughs>
hi guys so it's been quite some time since i updated this vlog and i'm gonna try and keep it quick because my camera has five percent battery left so i don't know how long this is gonna stay on for um but today is sunday it is the like 14th or 15th of october something like that so it has been a while since i update this vlog honestly not been doing too great um <laughs> yeah it's been a tough time and i haven't really been reading as a result and i've just been so busy um so i haven't really vlogged but anyway i just want to catch up with you guys so i went on a really exciting work trip earlier in the week i went down to london and if you didn't know i do work for fairy loot now which is amazing and we hosted our first like little event which was so fun we had afternoon tea with stephanie carver and adeline grace and some other cool people and it was just so lovely to get to meet them and everybody else and I just had such a lovely time. So yeah, I think I did film some b-roll of my books like signed. And I also got this super cute fairy loot cookie. Like look how cute this is. Um, I am going to eat that today because I've been saving it. Yeah, anyway, I don't really have many reading updates because I haven't really done any reading. And I am going to try and read a good chunk of One Dark Window today because I should have already finished this last month but because my mental health is so bad I just have not been reading. I go one way or the other, I either read too much to escape reality or I don't even have the mental capacity to do that and it was the latter unfortunately so I haven't really been doing any reading but I do want to get back into this one. Um, but I do have some book mail, now, I have a lot of book mail but I'm trying to figure out if I should keep it for like an unboxing video but i also kind of want to open it now so i'm not going to open any of the fire loot stuff but i do have these and i'm going to open these quickly because i'm actually going out today to meet my manager from my old job um when i worked at the bookstore at wardstones so i'm going to get coffee with her and i think i have some like packages there to pick up which is really exciting and i don't know if maybe some of the books could be like duplicates to what's here so i just want to open these now so i know so the first thing i have is this amazon parcel and i'm not actually sure what this is now this could honestly be like cat stuff that i've ordered like on a subscription and forgot about or it could be a gift i don't know <gasps> it's a gift oh my god oh my god this is so nice okay so first i'm gonna read the note so this is from allison oh my god thank you so much allison allison is one of my lovely patrons oh and she sent these because i've been having a tough time recently oh allison thank you so much this is so nice oh my god i really want both of these books i'm so happy right now so Alison very kindly got me the pumpkin spice cafe this is by laurie gilmore and this is supposed to be like the perfect cozy autumnal read gilmore vibes all of that so i'm so excited like look at this cover i literally like i can't stop smiling and then she also got me palace so this is by Lauren Roberts. I've seen this ever recently. This is a fantasy romance. And um, I was going to get this initially when it first came out. But then, like, I saw so many mixed reviews. And it's kind of like, I don't need it right now. I'll wait and see. But now that everyone's talking about it, I'm like, okay, I need this. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to read this. I know one of the book talkers that I watch, Carrie, is reading this at the moment. And she said it's amazing. So that made me want to pick it up even more. So I'm very, very excited to give this a read oh, this is like the best book mail i could have asked for thank you so much allison like these are both at like the very top of like my list of everything like books i wanted to buy and read so i'm so excited i will be picking these up very soon and seriously like thank you so much i'm so happy <laughs> this has made me smile so much um so thank you so much for thinking of me and 
yes like i'm so happy <laughs> and then we have this black bath parcel which is a pre-order i think or a book that i ordered so my friend megan recommended this book to me and i've also seen it around and i did have it on my list but weirdly it's quite hard to get hold of so i decided to get it off blackwells and that is the library of shadows by rachel moore this is what it looks like that cover alone is so stunning um this is like a romantic i think it's like rivals to lovers or enemies to lovers and it's like kind of spooky and atmospheric um and it's like a haunted school kind of setting so this sounds perfect i think i'm gonna save this for vampathon and i cannot wait to read it i'm like i'm just so intrigued by it, honestly um so we have that i'm trying to do this quickly because my camera's flashing at me that it's gonna die um and then we have this waterstones parcel now i think i have a waterstones parcel at my parents house i need to get and i'm hoping it's not the book i think it might be because um i might be getting that today <laughs> um yes okay so i did order this and it finally came this is one of my favorite illustrators and like just like a graphic novel like storytellers artists authors whatever you want to call them um emily carroll i love emily carroll's writing so much she, they have wrote two of my favorite graphic novels i've ever read and i love the art style and this one is a guest in the house and i didn't actually realize they come up with anything new until i found out about this on amazon um and i decided to treat myself to it from waterstones because i did a pre-order and i wanted free delivery and i was like well i'll just add something onto my order to get free delivery and i wanted this anyway um so this is like a really spooky story and like i'll show you what i mean by the art style it just has this like kind of very spooky gothic vibe and i just love it i have no idea what this is about but honestly i don't even care like i will eat i will eat I will read anything that this person does like i am so excited to read this definitely saving this one for vampathon as well cannot wait and i know this is just gonna be like really haunting and spooky like look at this oh, i'm just so excited um so yeah that is my book mile such exciting book mile i'm so excited about all of this and so grateful to you allison for the wonderful gifts um but yeah i'm gonna go now because i need to head out to go and meet my lovely ex-manager and i'm very excited because i haven't seen her since i left work at the bookstore and i'm gonna pop in and hopefully see some of my old colleagues as well um i was gonna go to a pumpkin patch today but i'm just not feeling the vibes today guys honestly <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna be going to my parents for dinner which will be nice and then i need to do some etsy orders and yes there's just not enough like hours in the day anymore um but it's all good so i will catch up with you guys a little bit later once i've charged my camera and i'm gonna head out now so goodbye hey if the quality has changed drastically it's because i've switched over to my old camera because that one the battery's gone and i need to charge it um so i'm sorry about the quality difference um but anyway i forgot to show these in my last clip and i really want to because it's so cute so my mum very kindly picked these up for me so it's like a friend of a friend's like relative started like their own little business doing like wax melts and stuff and she saw it on facebook and got me some i'm so excited i'll link the website down below they're a fairly new business and they're like a super small business but they had these little like coffin things with like wax melts in and i just thought they were adorable so these are by a company called luna flames and you get like this little coffin which is so cool and then inside is loads of wax melts so i think i got witch's brew scented ones and they have like all these little pumpkin wax melts in which are so cute like look at this how adorable are they mm, they smell so good i love witch's brew witch's brew like specifically is my favorite scent in the entire world if you ever smelled the yankee candle witch's brew that is my ultimate like scent like i love that smell so yeah i'm so happy with these yeah it is witch's brew and this is what they look like i don't know if it's gonna focus but how freaking cute is that like it comes in like a little coffin i'm obsessed i think i got two of those so i have that one and then my mum actually got me some cute little bits as well so it came with like this free little cute like heart shaped candle thing and then you get one of these like pumpkin things i have loads of these everywhere already like i love these um but you get one of those and then i've got some more wax moths and i think these are also witches brew that my mum got me um so they just come in this little like package like this so yeah i have lots and lots of witches brew <laughs> wax melts to use which i'm not complaining about because especially now i work from home and i'm home like all the time like i hardly ever leave my house which is what i prefer because i'm like a little hobbit i just want to be at home with my books with food and just without people bothering me like i love being at home um so i have wax melts on like 
all the time i like candles and stuff like that like i love my house to be smelling nice because i also have house cats so i have wax melts on a lot so i will go through these very quickly um but yeah it's a little business called luna flames i'll link their website down below but i'm very very excited to use those also i just noticed the whole time i've been like looking directly in the viewfinder which is like above the lens and looking at myself um instead of in the lens because i'm not used to using this camera and the viewfinder is different on my other one so i'm really sorry if i'm just staring at myself the whole time i've been talking um i didn't mean to do that it's just like with my old camera like i'm used to like looking at the lens but slightly above it and i just like i'm watching myself talk at the moment and i just realized i was doing that so i'm really really sorry <laughs> i was like staring at myself but yeah anyway i did just want to show them because they are really really cute and i really really like them um but yeah now i am gonna go and I will catch up with you guys probably this evening when I get home. Um, I'm going to try and go to Starbucks on the way. I'm probably going to get two, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so yeah, I will catch up with you probably this evening. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, hi guys. So I'm back from being out for coffee with my manager. It's a lot later. Um, but I'm about to start packing some more Etsy orders. But first, I thought I'd catch up with you guys. I did pick up some things from the bookstore that I used to work at. So I have a parcel here to open, which I believe one of you guys sent me, which is super nice. Um, and then I did get some stuff from publishers that arrived after I'd like left. So I got sent a copy of A Holly Jolly Ever After by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. And this is like a Christmas rom-com and it has a really cute little cover. Again, I'm sorry about the bad quality or like weird lighting. I forgot to charge the battery still on the camera. Um, but yeah, we have this little Christmas rom-com. Then I also received a copy of Hex and the City by Kate Johnson. This is the same one for I think who wrote Hex Appeal, which I do have but haven't read. And I actually literally just ordered this book. Um, so I'm gonna have to return it. That's annoying because obviously I didn't know I'd been sent this, but it's exciting that I have been sent this. So yeah, thank you so much to the publisher for sending me this. This is a spooky or witchy rom-com, one of my favorite kind of books. And I cannot wait to read this so i'm very very grateful that i was sent this and then the last book i got sent was a proof of a thread that bind by kika hatsopolu so this one was the fairy loot young adult book for july i believe um i say i believe i know <laughs> um and yeah i was sent a proof but obviously i only just now got it uh so that's exciting that i have this and it's quite fluffy which is nice so this is a young adult fantasy and it also has a bit of romance in it it's to do with threads and i believe it's inspired by greek mythology but i could be wrong but yeah it has like a romance and stuff in it as well and i've heard very good things so i'm very excited that i have a proof um so that was the book mail that i received and then i also got um some chocolate with one of the books so we have some tony chocolate and then my old manager had kept me one of these um which i requested i think before i left uh which is like a holly Bourne t-shirt and it's pink and really cute and then a little tote bag so that was the stuff i received from publishers and then i have this to open which is exciting so this is from t pal now they did reach out to me on instagram quite some time ago but obviously i haven't been able to get to my old work to pick this up because it is in a different town to me so thank you so much to the lovely person who has sent me there this is like really really cute oh it's got ghosts on it oh my god this is so exciting i have no idea what this is so i'm really really excited and it has really cute washi tape with pumpkins on oh my god okay so we have a little card so i'm gonna open the card first oh my god i'm literally tearing up <laughs> thank you so much tommy this is so nice thank you so much <laughs> so yeah this is from the lovely tammy also knows inside the cover over on instagram yeah thank you so much this card is so nice this means a lot this is really really nice thank you so yeah tammy reached out a while ago to me and asked me if she could send me some of her crochet items i believe these are tunnel themes and look at this packaging it has this ghost like ribbon i'm obsessed i'm definitely keeping this look at this packaging um so yeah i believe this is like autumnal themed crochet very excited and the fact this is handmade as well i'm just like <laughs> this is just so cool i'm so excited that i finally can like open this oh my god these are so cute 
Oh my god, they're pumpkins! Oh my god, and there's three of them! <gasps> Guys, look at these. I have pumpkins! Handmade crocheted pumpkins! Oh my god. Tammy, thank you so much. I can't even begin to imagine how much like time and effort went into making these. These are amazing and they're so cute. Thank you so much. This is so nice. Honestly, like I don't know what I did to deserve like such kindness. But I am just so like grateful. Like this is so nice. And the card as well. Seriously, thank you so much, Tammy. Like I love these. Look at them. They're so cute. And they're so good. Like look how cool these are. So yeah, these will be going on my little coffee table you're currently patched on because I don't know if I said this in my last few vlogs, but I did recently get a coffee table for my library. Um, so these will be joining all my other stuff on here. I'm going to sit them with my little book stack. Oh my god, they look so cute. Okay, so when I have good daylight tomorrow, I will film some b-roll of what they look like. This is so nice, Tammy. Thank you so much. And I'm going to put the card over here as well. And I will be keeping this. Maybe I can use this ghost ribbon in my hair because I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I'm going to put it in my drawer so my cats don't destroy it though. Yeah, thank you so much, Tammy. Like, literally, that was just... That was such a nice little, like, gift. And, like, I just... I don't even know what to say. Like, how did I get this lucky? Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but thank you. And, yeah, I will link Tammy's Instagram down below. Um, and then quickly, I just want to show you what I bought whilst I was out with my like friend. Um, so I did get a Christmas cup, a mug, and I know it's October and spooky season is of course my favourite, but I am a big Christmas person and I had this really cute Santa cup last year and I broke it, so I bought another one. <laughs> and then I got a really cute Santa mug and candle, but I've left those downstairs. But this I did get, and this is a Christmas tote bag from Waterstones. And this has a cat on it and a book stack. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says read and be merry. And each book says like something cat related. So we have a Santa in Wonderland. We have a Christmas carol, pride and partridges and perfect Xmas naps, which is just so cute. It was the cat. I was like, I have to have this. I do have the Waterstone Seasons Readings tote bag from last year, but this one with the cat on it, like I had to get this. So yeah, I did buy a Christmas tote in October, but it's fine. And then inside, of course, are books so i got three books which i ordered before i left my books on job but they came like after i have a game of malice and greed and this is by caroline peckham and suzanne Valenti. i believe this is the first book in their new series they are the authors who wrote the zodiac academy series i will not be reading this anytime soon probably um because i still need to finish the zodiac academy series and move on to that other series that's set in the same world i don't know if this is set in solaria i don't believe it is i think this is a whole new series um, but this is what the paperback looks like here. So, yes, I love their books. They are just so good, so easy to get lost into. And I'm very excited to read this one. I honestly don't know what it's about, but I know it's fantasy romance. Um, and anything written by them, I will buy. So I'm very happy that I did decide to order this when I still were there. So, yeah, I got this one. And then I also got um the most recent one from this author, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce because I know I will pronounce it incorrectly and yeah i don't want to do that um but we have before we say goodbye and it is by this author here so here is the author's name um and this is a japanese author this is translated from japanese and i do really enjoy japanese translated fiction i just find it a lot of the time is like kind of philosophical but also very endearing and just really light-hearted it's weird it has that balance of like being something really deep being something really light and i love the cat themed ones and i've read before the coffee gets cold by this author which was the first book in this series and then i still need to read the second one um but that book is very incredible it's essentially like four stories in one and it's weird it's one of those fiction novels that has elements of like sci-fi fantasy but isn't um and it's basically like about this cafe and you can travel back in time but you can't change anything about the future or the past, but you can just revisit like the past. And it's really interesting because it follows like different characters that going through different things in life. And it's a very like emotional story and just really, really like good. Um, I did read it a few years ago and I definitely want to read the second one. Um, and then I know there's a third one. This is the fourth one, I believe. I haven't got the third one yet, but I do want to pick it up. So at least I have this one. It is hardcover. So I feel like I need to replace my other ones with the hardback now but i did pre-order this one because it was signed and i just love the idea of having a signed copy signed by the author as you can see here my camera is going to focus which apparently doesn't want to and then the last book i got 
was the Waterstones exclusive edition of Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. And this is gorgeous under a dust jacket. So this is what the dust jacket like looks like here. It has a solid black sprayed edge. But underneath is so cool with the gold foiling. So this is what it looks like. We have a gold foiling and then the spine. I love the spine on this book. Um, so yeah, I did kind of pre-order it simply for foiling. I'm not going to lie. I haven't read this book yet. But I plan to be reading the audio like probably this week or next. Because I think I'm going to an event at the end of the month for this book. So I obviously want to read it before then. Um, but I think this is like my second copy of this. Because I do have the arc. I have this. I think I ordered the Illuminate one as well. So yeah hopefully i do like this book because i have a lot of editions of it already but yeah i'm very excited to read it and i'm very happy that i do have this edition because it is truly stunning um but this is a new fantasy series from cassandra claire so that is all of my book mail i can never leave that specific waterstones apparently without loads of books so here's all the books i also got this bookmark as well which is super cute it has like suns and moons on yeah my old manager i'm just gonna call her friend um <laughs> got me this so it was really really nice of her and i love it so i have a new cute little bookmark to use and then i did also get a gift from her which i don't know what it is so i figured we'd open it together she knows i'm a huge fan of spooky season and she got me a little spooky treat so we have this cute little like a pumpkin thing with some pumpkin chocolates inside um so i love that and then we do have something ceramic <gasps> okay look at the cloth that it is wrapped in it has spiders on so oh, this is so cute it's a pumpkin i love it oh my god this smells so good it is a harvest vanilla pumpkin and it's like i don't know if you guys can tell but it's kind of like multicolored. but it's this little ceramic pumpkin i love it i'm getting like all the pumpkins today this is great um so yeah we have this cute little pumpkin which will also be going on my coffee table so i've been well and truly spoiled today so yeah that is everything that i wanted to show you guys like i said i'm gonna do some etsy orders and i think i'm just gonna listen to some music or maybe watch some netflix or youtube while i do that i don't really feel like listening to an audiobook i do want to read but i need to do these yeah honestly <laughs> i'm just like so overwhelmed right now i've just taken far too many things on i'm so excited for vampathon but like the merch and bookmarks very overwhelming um as well as having like youtube patreon and my full-time job <laughs> um so i want to try and like catch up on all of that tonight and get those out tomorrow on my lunch um so hopefully this week i am hoping to like kind of catch up on things um especially before vampathon and just really like catch up on reading and try and get some more sleep so yeah i know this vlog has been very chatty so far so i am planning to try and film like a lot of b-roll and stuff this week but yeah life has just been insanely busy like i just don't have a second to spare at all there just are not enough hours in the day um it's just because i'm still getting used to like all the changes in my life at the moment and i do like to talk about it in vlogs because i'd rather not sugarcoat life and like make it look like life is stress-free and all of that when in reality it is not i'd rather just be like uh i guess realistic um and like i don't know like i'd rather just like talk about what's going on um so yeah anyway like lots of good books lots of good stuff I'm feeling very lucky and yes i need to go and do stuff now so i guess i will probably catch up with you guys tomorrow um and we can chat if i have any reading done um but yeah like i said for now i need to do my etsy orders and some other things and that's pretty much it so i guess i will catch up with you guys tomorrow and oh wow that is a lot more orders than i thought um so yeah i will catch up with you guys tomorrow and at some point in this vlog there will be a reading update unfortunately it's not now though <laughs>
to a new reading vlog. So this reading vlog I'm very excited for because this is going to be an autumnal spooky cozy weekend reading vlog. I am doing a little readathon with my patrons so I figured I would also do a cute little vlog. Now originally I was meant to start this on a Friday evening however I had a work thing and then this is going to sound really weird but I'd had a twitch in my left eyebrow for two days and it was just getting like progressively worse and giving me a headache and by the time I finished my work thing last night I was just in no mood to read or do anything so I literally ordered a takeout with Jamie and then I just lay on the couch all night and I went to sleep so I did nothing last night so I'm starting today it's fine if this is going to be a super chill and casual readathon I'm not doing this readathon with the intention of finishing loads of books I'd love to because I still haven't finished anything this month and I'm still in a reading something but I've been in a something now for three or four months which sucks um but I just know that I am not going to finish a lot of books because I have a lot of exciting plans this weekend. So it is Saturday, it's about 10am and I'm going to be going out to a place called Howard today which is where the Bronte sisters are from. I've been there once before many years ago and I loved it and I thought it would be a really really nice day out, quite autumnal and it'll be nice to walk around the village so obviously I'm going to be out for a lot of the day so I don't know how much reading I'll get done and then tomorrow the plan is to go to a pumpkin patch so fingers crossed the weather is okay because we've had horrific rain all week in the UK and we were going to go today but we figured it's going to be like so waterlogged so now we're like we'll go tomorrow so i'm hoping it'll dry out a little bit and it doesn't rain again and we can go tomorrow which will be nice so we are doing lots of autumnal things in this vlog my tbr it does look very ambitious and it is very ambitious um being in a slump and being busy all weekend don't know if i'll finish much but i have my kindle um this is so annoying my stickers keep falling all the time so i'm just gonna fix that because i actually really love for the first time like the layout of my stickers on my kindle for once because usually like i hated it how i had before so i got some new stickers so these are all from like etsy um red bubble and that sort of place and then some of them like are ones i've received like i got one in cat's patreon letter thing um my lovely friend Cass sent me one of her gorgeous sword stickers so yeah they're all from like different places but mostly just etsy and red bubble and there's a few random stickers that i just got like sent in stuff um or like it came with books and things like that but they are why about this one stick i need to get the little cute like um i need to get some little glue dots or something hopefully it doesn't fall i'm gonna try and show you because they do keep falling i think this case is maybe a bit too big but this is my kindle so it's mostly acomath stickers i'm not gonna lie um like this one keeps falling and it's annoying me um and so just a little mushroom this is the one from cat this is from Cass's shop i have a few of these and i'm obsessed so i'll link her shop down below she does gorgeous little um maps and they're all hand drawn of like lots of like fictional worlds so there's like sergey mass maps and like fourth wing ones and i love them but yeah that is my kindle but all the stickers keep freaking falling which is annoying me um so i'm gonna take my kindle out with me today in case i do want to read something in the car but i'm not really someone who can read while well, I'm in a moving car, but I'm going to try. But anyway, the actual physical books. So my current read is this. And as I said, in a lot of vlogs, I've been reading this, but I am in a slump. So it's taking me some time and it's not a reflection of the book itself. But I am currently reading One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. And I do feel like I could probably binge my way through this, which I am hoping to do tonight. Um, I'm currently only 90 pages in and I feel like things have just started to maybe get past the point where the world's been set up and the characters are being introduced and then like the kind of plot i feel like now we're at the point where like the actual plot is now going to start to play out um so i am excited for that i've heard very good things about this one and i know the second book just came out so if i do binge my way through this tonight which isn't highly likely that i'll read the entire thing tonight but if i do i might go and pick up the second book tomorrow but yeah i'm very excited to read this it's a gothic YA fantasy about this girl who has to unleash the monster within her to save her kingdom and i think she ends up working with like uh, um i can't remember what he's called but this like god guy knight thing sorry my memory card got full every single one of my memory cards is like glitching and saying they're full when i've wiped them and they're not and it's happened to all of them so i'm gonna have to get a new memory card so i'm hoping this will last and i can actually film today but yeah i can't remember exactly what this guy is he's some kind of like relation to royalty or knight or god or something um but i think there's supposed to be romance in there between them but yeah i'm gonna try and make my way through a lot of this today 
and then I also have a few options for if I want to maybe read something else or if I did somehow finish that again we're keeping it super chill so probably won't but these options are there so I picked two shorter books so this one has been on my TBR a lot and I've still not read it it was on my last readathon TBR it was on my September TBR it's on my October one and I saw um, someone on a book talk that I really like read this book and they really enjoyed it and it is very short it's a gothic story it's a retelling um of like a fairy tale and I think in this one I think it follows Rapunzel but I think Rapunzel's the villain maybe it's something along those lines um I'm very excited to read it it's Thornhedge by T Kingfisher never read anything by this author so I'm also excited about that and it is like just over 100 pages so I feel like this will be a really fun one to read and will make me feel accomplished um, and I do love a good short story and I feel like this is perfect for this time of year. I also have this one. I'm definitely in the mood for a romanticy and this is a romantic fantasy. It's Six Scotch Roses by Carissa Broadbent. This is a novella for the Crowns of Nyaxia series. So I think this takes place like kind of in between Separate and the Wings of Night in the second book. Um, this does follow different characters but it's set in the same world. So I think it does towards the end kind of link to the events of that but i'm not sure um but i saw katie from katie's reading talk about this in her recent vlog and said she absolutely loved it and i've had this on my shelf since it came out and i've been meaning to pick it up because i love serpent in the wings of night and this is a vampire novel so it's about this girl whose sister's like dying i think um of some like mysterious disease so she makes a deal with this vampire in her town for like his blood and she gives him roses in exchange and there's something weird with the roses i don't even know it's something like that but it's like vampire romance kind of um and it's really short it's under 200 pages and i'm in the mood for something like that so i feel like this would be a really good option so we do also have this and then we have two graphic novels so i'm probably not going to read both it'll probably be one or the other but these are my options so we have over my dead body by sweeney T i always said sweeney todd <laughs> sweeney boo this is a witchy dark academia a graphic novel I love the look of the art in here like I'm honestly so obsessed with this and I've been saving this and saving this for October so I feel like now is finally the time if I don't read this though I will be reading it for Vampathon next weekend um but yeah we do have this one and then the other graphic novel is this now I don't know if this is definitely spooky but all of the ones I've read by this author have been um so this is by emily carroll who wrote through the woods which is one of my favorite graphic novels ever i love emily carroll's graphic novels they are probably like my favorite of all time and all of them i've read so far have been very spooky and this is the most recent one it's called a guest in the house and it just looks so good it's the art style like i just love it so much it's so gothic and like spooky and it's like black and white but with like bits of color in it and i just i don't know like i love it so much um, I have no idea what this is about, but I know it is like a usually creepy, spooky, eerie one. And look how cool this is underneath. I'm just obsessed. I can't wait to read this. Big fan of Emily Carroll's graphic novels. So I am quite tempted to go with this one. But yes, those are all of my reading plans for the weekend. Hopefully I can get some reading done. But like I said, I am going to be out a lot this weekend. And I'm going to try and do some sprints with my patrons in the evening. So I guess maybe then we can try and get... A lot of reading done but yes even if i don't get tons of reading done it's still gonna be a nice autumnal weekend and i'm gonna bring you guys along and it should be a lot of fun so i'm gonna go now i will catch up with you guys a little bit later probably when i get home but you guys will see a bunch of b-roll of howarth i'm very excited because i haven't been there in so long i did also want to show off my nails before i go because look how cute they are so i got them in like a different shape this time and i got like pretty much the same design i got last time um so i did get like my little stars and like black tips and my ghost but i got little pumpkins um and i got them a different shape i just thought i'd show them because i love spooky nails and yeah i just love them so much um so yeah anyway i'm gonna go now <laughs> i just wanted to show my cute nails and i will catch up with you guys this evening
guys so today is saturday and i didn't really vlog yesterday this has been such a fail honestly um so as you guys will already know by this point this is not a weekend reading vlog anymore i have put this all into a weekly vlog so yeah i didn't end up reading anything yesterday i had planned to read all of last night but by the time me and jamie got home i was so exhausted and i'm like that all the time at the moment i am gonna be booking a doctor's appointment because for the last two years i've noticed it and it's progressively getting worse to the point where i know it's no longer normal and it's like no matter how much sleep i'm getting i'm constantly exhausted and i mean like bone tired like i feel it in my bones my joints hurt i'm always achy and it's just not it's not good i'm just always tired um and i am also really busy all the time which doesn't help but I just like, because I'm so tired, I can't read and I just don't want to. Like, I just want to lie on the couch and fall asleep watching like a movie or a show. I don't want to be reading. Um, so yeah, that really sucks, but I'm still planning to try and read today. So I did have a lie in this morning and I've just potted about the house and I've finally gotten ready. So it is like way over halfway through the day now. But I'm about to go meet my sister for a quick coffee because I need to go into town to run errands. I have a few things I need to do and I did order some books from the works a while ago and I totally forgot about them so I'm hoping they're still there because it was like two weeks ago I think that they got there as I said no reading updates I'm really sorry about that but I will be hopefully reading a lot tonight we'll see um I just want to cozy up with a book tonight but again I'm always so tired all the time and it's just making it so difficult to read I just need to get out of this rut but I just can't seem to get out of it and yeah like i just i don't know what's going on with me guys honestly like for the past month it's just yeah i've said it already in other vlogs but i've got a lot of stuff happening in my personal life and like health wise which is just like snowballing into other things and like yeah it's just a lot and plus obviously i am adjusting to working nine to five now as well so i'm also trying to get used to that routine and working like around that so i'm still in the process of finding the balance but when you have like loads of things happening in your personal life at the same time that totally throws everything off balance that does not help so yes i'm trying to get back to the you know bookworm jody who is reading all the time who is getting shit done at the moment she's not here <laughs> um and the brain goblins are winning as the great olivia rizzolatte would say the brain goblins have really been going at it recently so hopefully i can you know sort myself out soon um but yeah anyway i will hopefully do some reading later i am going to give you guys a mini haul as well um actually i'm just going to check to see what my sister's picking me up and if i have time now i will quickly do a haul because i did get something yesterday when we went up to haworth you guys have seen the b-roll um we went to haworth where the bronte sisters lived and you know it's a really cool place i loved it it was full of like halloween decorations and i did get some stuff so i want to show you that and i also have some packages to open so i'll be right back okay so the stuff i got yesterday so we went to this store i can't remember what it's called it might say on here um so it's called the curiosity society and i went there years ago i visited howarth with my nan and i loved it it's a really small village in i think it's east yorkshire and they have this shop and I bought like their bath stuff and I loved it. And I've been wanting to go back there for so long. They do have a website, um, but I finally got to go yesterday. And I got this really cute little tote bag. So you could get this in like the big regular size. But I decided to get it in just like this little mini one. And I think it's so cute. Like it's like a mini book tote and it has pumpkins on. And just look how cute this is. So yeah, I got this little tote bag. And then from there, I got two bath bombs. So I'm not going to take them off the packaging. But they're these like cauldron bath bombs. So I've had one of these from Fairy Loop before. Um, but you basically like, dip it in the bath. And this one is the vampire one. So I don't know if you guys can see through like this plastic. But it has like bats and things on. So this is a vampire cauldron bath bomb. And then I also got one of the pumpkin ones. Again, the same like design with the cauldron. But it has like a little pumpkin and some other bits on here. Um, so I'm very excited to use those. So I will probably go to my parents' house and use their bath because I love their bath. <laughs> and use my bath bombs, which I'm very excited about. And then I did get some wax melts as well. Now these were actually really expensive. Like for the tote bag, the two bath bombs and these, it cost me like nearly £40. Which is really expensive. But because I don't go there often and just like the... I don't know if it's the right word, like the commodity of it. Like the... You know, like, you know when you go somewhere and you're like, oh, well, I don't come here often. And, like, just 
for the sake of it like being a nice day out and an occasion I'm gonna just like buy something anyway I was kind of in that mentality and I was like do you know what like I don't come here often I know it's expensive but at the end of the day they are kind of like a small business and I want to buy them so <laughs> I did and so it was expensive yes but do I regret it no um so yeah I have a lot of wax melts to use at the moment but I love wax melts um and I got some of their spooky ones so we got the witch's broom one um which is this one here and then I also got the jack-o'-lantern one and then I got the vampire one so yeah we have some cute little wax melts and I love the packaging very excited to use those and then I also went to this little store I have no idea what it was called but they had these cute little cards in so I got this little Alice in Wonderland one. I got this from my friend Kat because she loves Alice in Wonderland and I just thought she'd like this. It is a postcard, but I figured she could maybe like put it on her wall or something. I don't know. I just, whenever I see something Alice in Wonderland, I always think of Kat and I was like, I'm just going to get it for her. Um, so I got that for Kat and then I just saw these and I just thought they were like a really cool card. Um, so these are by the Crow Emporium. Um, so that must have been what the store was called maybe. And this one is a Dracula quote and it says there are darknesses in life and there are lights and you are one of the lights, the light of all lights. I do love that quote um, and I just thought this might be fun to put in like a little frame during spooky season or maybe just put on my wall or something. But I just really liked it and then I got this one because I just love this quote. This is from Jane Eyre and this says reader I married him and it just has this on it. I just thought this was so cute like I just love the quote and again I'm probably just going to frame these and put them on my wall or something. I just love having art prints everywhere. Um, so I got those two cards and then lastly we did go to this little bookstore. I've read this book, I really enjoyed it and I have the most recent one, the fourth book in hardback but my other one's a paperback. So I do want to get them all in hardback to match and I saw this and it was signed so that's before the coffee gets cold. So this is the hardcover version and it is signed by the author which is amazing. Um, so this is from the Howith Indie Bookshop and I think they said they had a website. So you can probably order a signed copy from there if you want to support them. So yeah, it is signed. And I thought because it was signed and it was hardcover, I was like, why not? And then I just said, you need to find two more. Um, so I did also buy that. And like, I just had to get a book. So yeah, those are like all the little bits that I did get yesterday. I had such a lovely day. I just love Howard so much. It's just like such a nice place for a day out. So I did get that. And then super duper quickly, I'm going to unbox these packages because my sister has actually left to come and pick me up. Um, so yeah, she's literally going to be here in probably like five minutes. So I need to be quick. So these are a fairy loot set and we have a magic steeped in poison by judy eileen and this is the cover so this is the little hardbacks i love these i just listened to this on audio a while ago but i still haven't finished it um but this is such a stunning cover like look at the foiling and then we have these beautiful sprayed edges this is ya fantasy i believe and i've heard very very good things i've been meaning to pick the audiobook back up for a while so we have a venom dark and sweet which is the second book with the gorgeous sprayed edges so i'll show you the edges together and then the end papers so this is the edges here they are so pretty so in the first book we have these end papers i'm just obsessed like look how gorgeous they are and then under the dust jacket it looks like this so it's this gorgeous pastel lilac with this silver foiling all over it i love it so much and it is signed by the author and our second book has these end papers and then underneath it is this design again i just love the color scheme and the color palette like generally for these books almost dropped it then <laughs> sorry i'm brushing i know i'll try and do like a tiktok or an instagram reel with like a closer up look at these books it's just because my sister's come to pick me up i need to hurry up and unbox these um, so yeah, we do have those books there. Then we've got another fairy loop box, and I'm not sure what this one is. Let's see. Oh, okay. So these are my fairy trove orders. So I did order some books from the fairy trove, and I'm so excited. I think I ordered three in total. Also, I did forget to say as a disclaimer, I did not pay for these. I do work for fairy loot, so I did receive these um but you guys know i've been a long-term subscriber of fairy loot i love them however the fairy trade books i did purchase myself um so this is never a hero by vanessa len this is the sequel to only a monster and yeah i totally forgot to order this at the time um and i do want to read that book because i do own the fairy loot edition so i got the sequel to match so we have these spread edges here 
and then we have these stunning end papers as well and then under the dust jacket has this gorgeous design i love this foiling and then it is also signed by the author and the author also puts quotes in there how cute is this so yes we have never a hero and then the other two that i got i got a chloe gong book which i missed on the pre-orders and then i also got um spells for forgetting the photo edition because i didn't have an adult sub at the time and i was devastated i missed out on that and yeah i finally managed to get my hands on it i do already own this book but i want the photo edition obviously so this could be either or okay so it's neither of those books i'm still waiting for those two this one is a pre-order and it is a margaret rogerson one so this is Mysteries of Thorn Manor and this is what it looks like. So I do have the other books to match this one. Um, so I do have the nice full set and we have these stunning end papers inside. I haven't read this yet, but I have read Enchantment of Ravens and Sorcerer of Thorns and I really liked both. Um, I still need to read the other book that this author did and um, this is signed as well. But yeah, I have this one to match my other editions. So that is my very exciting fairy loop book mail and my little haul from yesterday. I am going to go now because I think my sister is here. So I will catch up with you guys later. If I do get anything while I'm out in town, I will definitely do another haul when I'm home because I love filming hauls and you guys are watching them. Um, and hopefully we can get some reading done. But yeah, I'm going to go for now. So goodbye. <laughs> so this vlog so far has been all over the place i've been filming this vlog like in and out now for a couple of weeks and yeah so i figured i'd come on and kind of continue the vlog on and i want to try and get my shit together this week like i have fun thon at the end of the week and just lots of other stuff and i just need to get my head in the game as is it coach bottlin from high school would say head in the game but i do i need to go ahead in the game like i've just been in this horrible cycle and some things can't be helped and obviously you can't change your mental health overnight but i feel like there are ways i can like pull myself out of it a bit more so today is the day we're going to do that i didn't start off the best i did want to get up at like six this morning and get a lot of stuff done but i did snooze my alarm till 7 30 and i start work in like half an hour so yeah i'm still here though it's fine so i had some yummy breakfast and last night i did do a little bit of reading um i did read a bit of my kindle last night so i randomly picked back up haunt and adeline now i started reading haunt and adeline months ago and i think i put it down like 50 percent through because i just needed a break from it it is dark romance and it is very intense and if you've read it then you know what i mean and at the time like i'm still new to dark romance and i just feel like i needed like a break and i just wanted to read something else but for some reason last night i just randomly decided to start reading on my kindle again so i read it like another 10 percent so now i'm like 60 percent of the way through so i am hoping i will just finish that this week because sometimes like it's easier to read on your kindle especially when you're in a slump like at least for me it is like i feel like i read quicker on my kindle so i think i am gonna try and like read more on my kindle this week but i do need to try and read more no matter how tired i am so i'm gonna attempt to finish that attempt to continue on with one dark window and then once i finish those i want to pick up another fantasy um and read some like graphic novels as well i just i want to try and get out of my slump and this horrible icky mood before Vampathon starts on Friday. Now I do have a really busy week. I have a lot of work stuff I have to do. Um, some like YouTube and Patreon stuff that I've just really fallen behind on. And then I have a work thing on Thursday night as well that like is obviously gonna make me anxious but I'm excited about. So it's just like a lot going on before Vampathon. So I do really need to like get my shit together. So I thought I'd come on and say happy Monday. I'm planning to finally get my shit together um and hopefully actually read this week and have reading updates for you because that is the purpose of a reading vlog 
But yeah, I, I think I could also be getting sick, which is just the worst timing. Since Saturday afternoon when we got back from Howarth, my throat randomly started hurting really bad. And every day it's getting worse. And I'm terrified I'm going to get one of those dry, tickly coughs. Because when I get those, my coughs don't go for months. Like, I know it's not normal. Like, most people's coughs should go after three weeks. But mine, since I was a kid, have always stuck around for, like, a month or two after. Like, it takes so long for my body to, like, get rid of it. And that's just not going to be good. Like, I have all the live shows I have to do. Like, how can I do those if I'm coughing in every sentence? So, I'm crossing everything that I am not getting sick. And this is just a random sore throat from maybe, like, the aircon in the car or something. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I need to look after myself this week. And we need to get reading. So, anyway, I just want to come on and say hello. We will be vlogging this week. Um, I know, I know, I'm looking not so great right now um i literally just roll out of bed and put my jumper on um and i did fall asleep with my hair last night and i did brush it so this is like my natural hair i guess it is kind of bad heady but my natural hair is like a weird like it's not curly but it's not straight it's just weird but yeah i'm also trying not to use like heat on my hair as much like because i usually would wash my hair like every other day because my hair gets oily within a day so i would usually do that and like be putting heat on it like twice so like dry it with the hair dryer curling it and it's a lot of heat and i just want to like let my hair get a little bit healthier so i'm trying this new thing where i only like do that maybe once or twice a week and not wash my hair as often um but i can't stand oily hair so if anyone has any good dry shampoo recommendations that aren't really bad for you because i know like batiste dry shampoo that i usually use um, was in like a lawsuit and apparently it's like very very toxic um so if anyone knows any that aren't like that but actually work and are like you know not dangerous to use uh please let me know in the comments because i would love to know but that is why my hair looks like this because i am just trying to like let it do its thing and get a bit healthier and yeah so just ignore my hair like i know it's a mess but it won't be a mess on wednesday because wednesday's gonna be a day when i blow dry and stuff because i need to film <laughs> so i'll be doing that on wednesday after i've had my eyelashes done um but yeah anyway random tangent i didn't need to go on i'm gonna go quickly make a cup of tea again before i start work and then i guess i will catch up with you guys maybe on my lunch break if i do some reading or after work this evening i want to reorganize some of my bookshelves so we're hopefully gonna do that in this vlog as well i'm gonna go for now i just wanted to hold myself accountable by picking up the camera this morning and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later today. Hi guys, it's Jodie and welcome to a new reading vlog. So this vlog is going to be the Vampathon vlog. I have done a, a vlog just of day one on its own. So if you haven't already watched that, I will link it up here and in the description box. But for the remaining four days of Vampathon, they are all going to exist in this one big vlog. And I have some exciting plans. I'm very, very excited to share them with you. Um, so before I do get into that, I'm just going to talk about the books that I'm going to be reading. So basically, me and Jamie are travelling down to London today. We're going to be staying in Richmond first. And hopefully we can go for a walk in Richmond Park, maybe. Depends when we get there. And then tomorrow, I will be going to Comic Con because I was very lucky to have been invited to a Cassandra Clare event there. So I'm very, very excited for that. I'm going to get to meet Cassandra Clare and hang out with her a little bit and get a couple of books signed, which will be fun. So yeah, that is the reason I'm going down to London. Now, it's kind of annoying that it's happening at the same time as Vampathon because it's going to take a lot of my time and I'm not going to get a lot of reading done today and tomorrow. I will, however, have Monday and Tuesday left to get a lot of reading done. So yeah, if I didn't already say, today is Saturday and my reading plans that I have for today and tomorrow are hopefully these here. Now, I don't know if sure if I will read them all. I do also have some audiobooks downloaded as well. But I started Six Scorch Roses by Chris Broadbent this morning. This is a fantasy romance and it is a vampire and a human romance. And I'm really excited to read it. It is a novella set in the same world as Serpent and the Wings of Night is. So it's set in a different, like, location following new characters. And I'm really excited to see, like, how that compares to the world that I know from that book. But yeah, this is the book that I will be reading and hopefully finishing today. I'm currently 34 pages in. 
And then I'm also going to take the Nightmare Before Christmas a Mirror Moon graphic novel and Over My Dead Body. So this one is a witchy dark academia one and this one is obviously just Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm probably not going to read both of these but maybe one or the other depending on how much time I have. And then I'm going to take this just so I do have another book if I do want to start one, if I manage to finish the novella. Um, so this is The Library of Shadows by Rachel Moore. It's a like a ghosty romance haunted school kind of vibe and i'm really excited about it and then i have legends and lattes sword catcher and the secret society of irregular witches all downloaded as audiobooks as well as my kindle so i have all those options i can't really read when i'm in a moving car so i don't know for sure if i'll be able to do much reading today but we shall try but i am going to try and vlog a little bit this weekend and then like i said continue through monday and tuesday so i did just want to come on start the intro to this vlog and now i'm gonna go and pack my things for london and then we're gonna leave so it's always very last minute and chaotic but yes anyway i'm gonna go now i will catch up with you guys a little bit later so goodbye for now okay hi guys so yes i got a lot of water on me when trying to get out of the car because it's pouring down london um, but we are at the hotel, finally, nearly five hours later because traffic was ridiculous. I'm tired, I'm soaked. This is the room. Um, so weirdly, the toilet is in here. <laughs> and then we have the shower in this separate little room. Um, and then our little bathroom. Um, and then we do have a kettle, which is my biggest concern, is there going to be a kettle? Thankfully there is. And then this is the bed, which Jamie's lying on, so I'm trying not to get him in. Um, and then we have a little TV, a little desk. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cute room. Um, service was not the best <laughs> checking in, not gonna lie. But yes, we are here finally, and I am so tired. I've done no reading in the car um, because we had to try and like navigate and stuff um so yeah no reading was done but i did edit a bit of my vlog from yesterday which you will have seen by now it's currently 10 past 7 so we have to leave here very early tomorrow morning because we've got to get the train in central london we're staying in richmond so yeah we've got to get the train and then probably a tube or two um to comic con and then i'm going to the cassandra claire event which will be fun so i think cassandra claire's like doing an event there and then I've been invited to like a special bloggers event, I think it's called, like a bloggers brunch or something. Um, so I'm really excited for that. It'll be nice to like chat to Cassandra Clare and get some books signed and meet some other bookish people. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I think afterwards me and Jamie are just going to have a little wander around the convention. Because I haven't been to London Comic Con since last year at Yalk and I love Comic Cons. Um, I used to go to them a lot a few years ago, so yeah i'm really excited i honestly don't know if i will read tonight which i know sucks for like a day two of ampathon but it's fine i still have four days three days and i can do lots of reading monday tuesday because i'm just gonna be at home and i have no plans and there is always tomorrow as well but yeah i'm gonna try and read a little bit of six scorch roses but i need to shower and like wash my hair and everything and i want to get an early night so yes we shall see i will try and vlog a little bit more tonight but maybe i will just wait till tomorrow um but yeah i did just want to give an update and say we are here finally and i'm very tired Thank you. 
thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes, here we go. Start, I'm just gonna do a quick one. Everybody wave, please. <laughs> Say Cassie Claire. Cassie Claire! <laughs> so, I know we're all here to learn about sword catchers, so can you tell us a little bit about your book? Sure. Um, so, for thank you all for coming. Uh, it's great to see you. And uh, so, yeah, Swordcatcher, my first adult book, first high fantasy. Um, it takes place entirely in a sort of invented secondary world called Castellane. Um, and it is about two different characters. One is a young woman named Lynn, who is a physician. Um, she is sort of a doctor to the people of Castellane, and she has a best friend who is suffering from a mysterious sickness that she can't cure, and so in order to try to find a way to cure Mariam, she starts to seek out forbidden magic. Um, then there's also the sword catcher of the title, a young man named Kel, and he is kidnapped from his orphanage home when he is 10 years old and brought to the palace where he is pressed into service as the sword catcher who is the body double for the prince of the city, meaning that you know, he's trained to talk like Connor, who is right behind me for some reason. This is the prince. So <laughs> Kel is his body double, um, and he is made to look like him, taught to walk like him, talk like him, act like him, and he goes out into public um, as Connor when there's a speech to be made or some kind of public appearance where there's the danger of assassination, and Kel is the person who is basically putting himself out there for the risk of being killed in Connor's place. And this is um, the job that he has at the beginning of the book. And uh, they are both sort of pulled into a world of uh, debauchery and mystery and murder and intrigue. Um, and yes, uh, I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> so I totally love this book and for many reasons, but we're gonna go into them. The first one is Castellay feels super real to me um, as a place. It's got, like, as a physical place. It has hills, it has its port, um, places like Flesh Market Square, Temple District, Maravent Palace, which is high in the hills where all the posh people live, and the wall district called The Soul. The Soul, is that how you pronounce the, it? I, the Salt. The Salt. Okay, The Salt. Um, Castellet, the name, is actually a real city in southeast France. However, your castellane is very distinct, um, both in its multicultural feel and economic trade as a trade port. Can you talk about how you went about building this place, this world? Sure. Um, so, oh my goodness, I had the idea for the sort of background of the world a long time ago. Wherever you put your invented world, your city, your, you know, palace, whatever the geography of the place is kind of tells you a lot about the culture that you've created. So Castellade sits between massive mountains and a port, it's on salt marshes, and um, which was inspired by Venice because I was, really, I, I was really interested in sort of the history of the Silk Roads, the, the history of Venice when it was sort of at the height of its power and wealth as a trading city because you can't grow anything in Castellade. There's no land, there's no fields, you can't have animals, etc., etc., and so you have to figure out how do you make your money, how do you bring in food, and they make their money through trade. So trade becomes sort of the lifeblood of Castellane, and the city is ruled by what they call the 12 charter families. Each family has a charter for a different kind of trade good, silk, spices, horses, glass, whatever, and they basically t take a, a big tax off of all of the trade of whatever that good is, and so they have an enormous amount of money, they have an enormous amount of power, and these charter seats are inherited, but they can also be taken away, they can be given to someone else, so they're always fighting with each other over who has what charter seat, who has what amount of money, who has what power. It's really uh, a book about power, the transactions of power, how you take power, keep power, steal power, take power away from other people, and all of the power is in this um, trade in Castellane. So it was a lot of research into sort of really the history of Venice, um, the history of Constantinople, another, uh, Istanbul, another city that I used as sort of a, a you know, historical basis, and the history of the Silk Roads and how they worked. So 
Yeah, like that, I can see all those layers in there. Can you talk a bit more about your research process? Like, what do you, I, how long does it take? That was five years of research wow. of work. The history of cities, how cities were built. I mean, I worry this is going to sound very boring, and I, I do feel like you have to go down a lot of very strange rabbit holes in order to sort of build this kind of thing. Um, the history of not just Venice as a city, but also the government of Venice. I really enjoyed how chaotic it was. It also was ruled by what was called a council of 12, 12 like wealthy merchant families. And they were always poisoning each other and betraying each other and stabbing each other. And I like really liked that. I was like, this is great. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for because I want you know, a nobility of people who are always you know, screwing each other over and uh, you know, um, betraying each other and murdering each other and trying to get things from each other and there's no real loyalty in, in a lot of ways in Castellane and I think that's sort of what makes the relationships that the book does focus on unique is those are the relationships where there's actual like caring and loyalty there and so much of the other relationships are transactional. Um, so it was just a lot of like years of research. I read a lot of first-person accounts of people traveling on the Silk Road. There's a really great book that uh, talks about Jewish merchants on the Silk Road um, and has like 12 different sort of first-person accounts of what that was like. There's lots of, I looked at, I read diaries, I read stories of the Borgias and the Medicis and other families that are famous for, you know, again, poisoning and betraying each other. Um, Lynn is a doctor, so there was a huge amount of research into medicine, but that was kind of fun. I spent like six or seven months just watching medical dramas. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't just watching medical dramas. I was also... We have a lot to catch up on. Um, I don't know exactly what this vlog is anymore. It's most likely not a Van Plum vlog, as you guys will already know. So I didn't really vlog <laughs> after day one of Vampathon for a few reasons. So for Saturday and Sunday of Vampathon, I was in London and I went with Jamie. We spent a lot of Saturday traveling and then by the time we got to the hotel, we were just so exhausted. We got drenched in the rain and um, we just went to bed so I didn't really vlog I think I showed you guys around like the hotel and that was pretty much it and then the next morning when we woke up I realized I'd got the location mixed up I got the Olympia and the XL mixed up I think so the time it would take to get there was wrong so we had to get up like ridiculously early and rush and in the end I ended up spending like 40 pounds on an uber or 50 pounds um because it was just gonna be too stressful to get there so that was uh a lot of money to spend on getting to 
um, the Cassandra Clare event, but it was worth it. I got to see my lovely friend Tasmin, and then I did also bump into my lovely friend Olivia from That Fiction Life. If you've been here since like the old days of my booktube channel, like when I first started, you might have heard me mention Olivia before. Now, Olivia is one of the first people I met in the book community and we kind of lost touch the last couple of years because she's no longer really involved in booktube or bookstagram and we just randomly happened to meet at this event and it was literally like the highlight of the day because it was just so nice to meet her after all these years. I think we like first spoke like four or five years ago so that was really surreal um, but the event itself was so fun. I did meet Cassandra Clare again, she signed some of my books which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I did get some cool goodies, which I will also show you. And then me and Tasman did go around Comic Con. So I was only at Comic Con for like an hour and a half after. Because me and Jamie had to leave early. So me and Tasman went around some strolls and I got some fun stuff, which I'm also going to show you guys. But yeah, so that was like why I didn't really vlog because it was just so busy and so much was going on. And then again, we went to see a relative in London before we left. And then by the time we drove home, we didn't get home till midnight. So I was just not vlogging. Monday, I woke up and I felt a little bit iffy i didn't really feel too good i did read the emily carroll graphic novel i will put it on the screen here because i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head and you'll understand why in a moment and i don't have it to hand right now um, but i did read it and i gave it four stars it was more of a 3.5 stars i will say not my favorite emily carroll but i still love it i just love the art style and kind of like the weirdness and the darkness and the horror of like that author's graphic novels um it was really really fun really weird but i didn't like the ending so i did give it 3.5 stars ramped up to a four and i did finish reading six scorched roses which i also gave four stars it was a really fun novella i like how it's kind of split into six parts and i just generally liked the characters and i love being back in the same world again as the crowns of nyaxia um so that was really fun and i like how it did relate to the seven wings of night so i believe the characters from that novella are most likely going to end up involved somehow later down the line which is obviously like gonna happen because it's a uh, in-between novella set in the same world um at least i hope that happens but yeah i really really enjoyed it gave it four stars so that was all the books i finished on Vampthon, which wasn't a lot i think i only finished oh i also finished um the Legends and Lattes audiobook, which I gave four stars. I really liked it. I just don't really think Cozy Fantasy is for me. It's too mundane. I just don't feel like enough really happens. It was a really fun, heartwarming story, and I really loved all the coffee and cozy vibes. But besides that, like, it was just fun. It wasn't, like, amazing. So I would say it's, like, a low four for me. But I did give it four stars, so... Mm -hmm.